Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. Now today, I am going to be, well you already know what I'm going to be doing because you've already seen the title of the video. Now I feel like I should go outside because I have got about three seats outside. So, oh great, I'll need to ride to college in a minute. And the weather is not good. It's raining, it's not as heavy as it has been. So today, I'm going to be telling you top five wheelie bikes uh not wheelie bikes top five wheelie seats to get for your bike i think that's what the title is going to be called i'm not too sure yet now um i'm going to go from there's going to be five and i'm going to go from the worst one out of the top five to the best one out of the top five so um number five which i can actually show you um is any mafia seat now this isn't on my bike, this is on my brother's bike, I actually let him have the seat because in my opinion I don't like Mafia seats, I think they go really hard really quick and they start like crumbling and they also, um, I've also just never liked them that much and I think that they like, ripping isn't really usually the major problem, the major problem is usually just um, that the seat starts to like collapse and stuff and obviously if you're doing actual like combos and do like stuff like that your seat's gonna get mashed up pretty quick. So if you see like Ted's seat, yeah, his seat has like a really big dip in it because of the amount of combos he does on it. I well, that's a, that's what I assume does it. But like if you literally do like drop knee on it like 30, 40 times, it'll probably like start like pressing in and stuff. And you don't really want that. You want your seat to stay strong for longer. Um. So now um, let's get on to number four. Okay. So number four. I don't have on me right now but it is a ebay wheelie seat now i would have put this higher but the only reason i haven't put it higher is you literally can only buy like from the last four to five months you can only buy like the um particular suede i think it's not a suede either you get the suede material like this kind of fabric material um if they brought back the grippy one then that would have to be like really high up there because that grippy seat was amazing it felt like a box flyer seat but it was just all black so that seat was really good but i think they stopped making them now which is i don't know whose idea it was to stop making them but they've stopped making them so that's why i had to lower it down on the list and there was another company that i think deserves to be higher up on the list anyway because out of every time i've been on one of their seats i've never actually surprisingly owned one every time I've been on one of their seats I've always thought they're really good so I'm gonna get onto number three right now okay so number three is um, a collective bike seat now any of the seats all right you um, I don't I'm not a fan of the La Plaga one or the little Harry one I think the collective bikes one is the best one in my opinion the one where Corey runs all right it kind of looks like a BTEC big flyer seat with like a slightly like worse material but it is, they are all really like nice seats um, because like, I don't know, they just make pretty good seats to be fair. They're pretty consistent. Uh, it's not like some are good and some are bad, which is kind of what Mafia tends to be like with, not even just their seats, they tend to be like that with pretty much everything they sell. So yeah, had to put it at um, number, what number was it? Not what number are we on? We've done Mafia. Yeah, yeah. That was number, five, four, five. yeah, that was number three on the list. So well, now we are starting to come towards the end of the list, but the collector bike seats are good and I think they're not too overpriced because some Mafia seats are ridiculously overpriced, like you can literally buy one of the eBay ones for cheaper and the eBay ones will last longer and do better. So I guess the only reason why some people rate Mafia seats a lot is because of how many different designs you can get, but um, in my opinion they're just not that good. So collector bike seats come third. Let's go into the second one. Okay, so there's not really like another brand of like wheelie seat that you can actually get. So for the last two, I'm actually just gonna um, say my two favorite um, seats on this brand. Now you can already guess it because I haven't said it already. SC Bikes do make the best wheelie seats in my opinion, but I do have one in particular that is my favorite. And then I have another one which is my second favorite. So that's gonna be the way the list works. So coming in second is a blocks or a big flyer seat or a D block seat. Those ones with those kind of materials, they are all amazing. Okay, they're great for combos. They're strong. 
sometimes they rip but if you look after them fairly well they won't rip so that will be we see this weather it's like a hurricane season or something i don't know but yeah the weather uh, the weather's a bit mad but those seats are absolutely amazing and i do recommend you get them because they're perfect for combos and i don't know there's perfect all around a great just a great seat in general so coming second is anyone with that kind of grippy material so blocks flyer big flyer d blocks i think there might be a couple others socal flyer as well comes with them so there might be a few others that i've missed out but you know the material i'm talking about so those kind of seats are coming second let's get onto the number one in my opinion okay so now this is out of every seat that i've ever owned this is my personal favorite I don't know how well you can see, but the Mike Buff seat is my favourite seat that I've ever owned. So I had to put it at number one because it's just such a great seat. Everything's good about it. It's perfect level of slippiness, purple le level of grip. It doesn't hurt when you drop on it. It doesn't hurt when you jump on it. It doesn't rip that easily either. And it's just an all-round pretty beautiful seat. I'm going to put it back on the bomber, even though I know a lot of people have been telling me that it doesn't suit it. I don't really care to be honest, I'll put whatever I want to put on whatever. Yeah, you know the vibes. So basically I have been posting a lot of skate videos recently and they haven't been doing as well as my bike videos. So I've decided I'm going to not really post too many skate videos anymore. But if I do feel the need to, to post a skate video and I'm out skating, I will record a skate video because I do enjoy it. Not as much as bikes, but I do enjoy it still quite a bit. And obviously, if I'm riding a bike every day, that's going to get boring. So for me to enjoy what I do more, I need to do more variety of things so I can keep uploading. And I don't know if all of you, any of you know, but colleges actually finish earlier than schools. So soon I finish at college and then I'm going to be posting every single day. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so that when I'm posting every day, you don't miss any of the videos. So hopefully this video does, does a bit better because it's a bike video and I know top 5 bike videos always do really well on my channel. I mean my most viewed one is the one with 19,000 views which is a bike review video. It's like not a bike review, it's like a top 5 and it literally only hit like 10,000. I don't know, the other month is kind of crazy. Like that video is blowing it up like mad. And I do still gain subscribers pretty much every single day so my channel is still doing well but some of the views aren't doing quite as good so hopefully this does better thanks for watching and i'll see you all hopefully tomorrow if i can get a video out i don't know if i will just have faith in me <laughs>